Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on modern JavaScript for LLC development series. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can work with classes in modern JavaScript. Have you ever created a class in JavaScript? So let's see like how it was possible like before this modern JavaScript ES6 thing and how you can create the classes using the ES6 module now. So first, we will just follow our tradi traditional way of uh, visiting the playcode.io and clear the syntax okay <laughs> so prior to es6 if you if you wanted to create a class in javascript you use prototype to do something similar so let's suppose if i'm creating class here and let's name it animal okay so this is basically a function which can be referred as a class before ES6, we used to have it like this. Okay, so I'm assigning the default value to this dot name, and to create a function in it as a class function, you have to do animal dot prototype and print name, and then you can declare a function as a class here. Okay, now it seems like a function, but actually it is a class and this is this is a function in that class. Okay, so if you would like to call this, you can simply do it. New animal. So this is going to call its constructor. Okay. And then you can use this object to call that function, which in our case would be print one. Okay. Now we are having some issues here. Just a second. Which says animal is not. Oh, I did spelling mistake. Sorry. Just a second. Okay. Now, as you can see the result here, so this is coming from this function. So, using this way, we can call a function as a class and use its class functions to perform some actions. Okay. So, this was all like before the ES6 modules. But uh, after the ES6 modules, you can define a class directly. So, let's suppose. So basically what ES6 did, ES6 added class keyword and unlike other traditional object oriented supporting languages like we can have like C, C++, Java, we are having class keyword in JavaScript now. It is still under the hood, I would say it is just a special function, not a class. But uh, yes, I mean, I mean the keyword is class, so we can say it is a class, but under, under the hood, it is going to be a special function only. So let's try the previous example with the new ES6 class. So with the new class keyword, you can simply define it like this class. And you can create a constructor of it. Okay, and we are performing the same action. This dot name is equal to name. And then you don't have to use that prototype method. You can just simply create a function here, like print name. And here we can just simply have name. Now, if you'd like to call this class, so you can just simply call it using the same way by creating an object. So let's say or maybe we can do it. animal obj is equal to new animal no, this ought to correct okay uh, let's pass the value in the constructor let's suppose talk and now you can call the function like animal obj dot print name and you can see the output here it is down so this is the new way of uh, using the class keyword and 
uh, using its function okay so this is the new uh, new syntax if you want to use the class in the JavaScript but what more surprisingly is that you can all uh, you can also use inheritance here this class keyword supports inheritance let me show you like how it is going to work so for that uh, let's create a parent class first okay so basically classes comes in two flavors base uh, one could be base class and the derived class the difference is the extends keyword derived class have them the extend keyword and base class don't have them okay for example let's create a parent class uh, class parent and add a constructor here okay now i'm assigning this dot name equals to name again and then let's suppose i'm using a function here which is get name which will return this dot name okay now assume you need to create a subclass or derived class as child that extend the functionality available in the parent so for that what you can do is you can simply create another class child which will be extending the functionality from parent from parent class okay so this is going to be our child class which will be inheriting the functionality from parent now you can also create a constructor here and let's call the constructor of the parent class using the super keyword okay now we will have a function here And let's return super class get name. Okay, so here basically we are having hello and then we are calling the function from the parent class which is get name, which will be having this dot name value. Okay, now let's see the output of this. So let Class OBJ is equal to new child, and if I will pass the value here, okay, and try to print it. Get message, and you can see the message in the control log, which is which says hello couple so guys this hello is coming from this uh, child class where we are returning the hello plus parent class get name function and in this child class constructor we are passing the name and the same name we are passing on the parent class as well so basically we are inheriting inheriting the functionality of the parent class using this child class so uh, that it is for today guys that's how you can create classes in javascript you can also inherit the functionality and much more if you would like to more about if you'd like to learn more about it then i'll be sharing the official documentation link in the description of this video do check it out and also if you need the complete code you can directly go to my blog which is salesforceschool.com and get the code snipped from there if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching